Good morning, dear students. Our today's lesson is online lesson. That's why if you have any questions, if you don't understand my words or if our lesson is not be clear to you, you can ask any type of your questions by your messengers, by our group, by Telegram especially, or as well as by your cloud nets. Aziz talabalar, bugungi darsimiz online tarzda olib borilishi munosabati bilan har qanday savollaringiz yoki tushunarsiz bo'lgan mavzular bo'yicha bizga messengerlarimiz orqali yoki CloudNet tarmoqlarimiz orqali internet, Telegram orqali so'rashingiz mumkin. So, before the lesson, let's we discuss about the weather or about the news, about your mood and about the day and date. But our lesson, our today's lesson, a bit differ from our this face-to-face -face lessons. Our lesson, as I remember you, it's flipped classroom. It's by interactive method. Bizning darsimiz bugun interactive misullardan biri bo'lgan flipped classroom asosida olib boriladi. Ya'ni kim mavzular oldindan sizga ma'lum, berilgan, eslatilgan. Bu mavzular bo'yicha o'tilgan Yangi so'zlar, yangi mavzular, yangi tushunchalarni siz o'z tushunchangizga asoslangan holda tushunib borgan mavzularingizni albatta savollarimizga javob berib borasiz degan umiddamiz. Let's firstly I pay my attention to our previous lesson themes hardware and software. As we, as you, we are one colleague of this IT, this university, as a Tashkent University Information Technologies named after Muhammad Al Kharazmi, we study in Karshi branch. So each theme, each these terms are very important to us. Biz Axbor texnologiyalar universitetining talabalari bir jamoasi bo'lganligimiz uchun hardware va software mavzulari biz uchun juda ham muhim. Shuning uchun sizning ham, bizning ham e'tiborimiz o'tgan darslarimizni takrorlash asosida bugun o'tilajak mavzumizni mustahkamlab borish asosida olib boriladi. So, let's begin about the hardware and software we review. Computer software are computer programs, systems of programming, application software. System of programming, it is system software includes the operating system and serialized programs. Operating system, a set of programs that provide operation of all computer devices and give the user access to computer resources. The most common operating system for personal computers. Some of the computer systems are very popular. They are operating system, for example, Linux, database, access, MySQL, an antivirus program, utility, and text editors, graphic editors, edit presentation, and etc. Computer hardware. Hardware components are further divided into three groups. The main groups in the category are three groups: input devices, output devices, and system units. Olar ischi qurulmalar, tashqi ornatilgan qurulmalar, hamda sistema bloki. Keling ularga tarif beramiz. Input devices. Input device is a piece of computer hardware equipment used to provide data and control signals to an information processing unit, such as computer or information appliance. Output device is a piece of computer hardware equipment which converts information into human readable form. It can be text, graphics, tactile, audio, and video. System unit is a part of computer that houses in primarily devices. For example, input devices, they are keyboard, mouse, trackball, spaceball, joystick, voice recognition, image scanner, touch screen, and etc. 
output devices are speaker, headphones, screen as a monitor, printer, projector, platters. A system unit components are internal power supply or speaker, motherboard, chipset, microprocessor, memory RAM or passport, and etc. Dear students, let's about our the last lessons or the previous lessons in hardware and software you must learn very carefully because you maybe you can compare them to each other but you can confuse some of time. Bazı vaqtlarda software va hardware terminlarini, mavzularini, izohlarini bir-biriga solishtirayotgan vaqtimizda chalkashliklarga yuzaga kelishi mumkin. Shu sababli mavzularni ehtiyotkorlik bilan o'rganish sizdan talab qiladi. Because our future professions theme is very important. Not only important, it will be useful for you, for us, for our college in the future especially. That's why to your assessment, to your control work, to your final work, I'm going to ask your hardware and software on orally and written form. Hormati talabalar utiladigan har bir mavzuni Bundan oldin ham qilib borganimizdik og'zaki va yozma shaklda sizdan albatta nazorat shakllarida yakuniy nazorat shakllarida so'raladi. Shu bois siz ushbu mavzularni nafaqat baho olish jarayonida, balki kelajakda o'z jamoangizda axborot texnologiyalarida ta'lim olgan talabalar sifatida ham mukammal o'rganib olishingiz lozim. When you protect or defend your final or your course independent coursework as well as as your theme which you accept from me i emphasize to one thing dear students bir narsaga urg'u berishim shartki hurmatli talabalar if you protect your speech in english or in uzbek compare these languages in uzbek and english to each other simultaneously you should pay attention to these slides here we look at the criteria of grammatical range and accuracy. This criteria focuses on the range and accuracy of the grammar demonstrated by the test taker. For grammatical range, consider whether what you are describing is something that happened in the past, use past tenses, is happening in the present, use similar present tenses, or is predicting the future. Use a variety of future tenses. Sometimes you can use a combination of these different tenses. Demak siz gap tuzayotgan mahallingizda albatta grammatik mavzularni hayolingizda saqlashingiz, zamonlardan to'g'ri foydalanishingiz talab etiladi. O'tgan zamonda gap aytgan vaqtingizda albatta past simple, past continuous past perfect formalarini shuningdek hozirgi zamon shakllarida present simple, present continuous, present perfect zamonlarini shuningdek kelasi zamonda gapirganimizda future simple, future continuous hamda future perfect continuous zamonlarini e'tiborga saqlagan holda kerakliklarini ajratib olish ham bir mahorat sanaladi. O'z nutqingizni rivojlantirib borish jarayonida albatta İngiliz tilda so'zlay olish qobiliyatingizni shakllantirish mobaynida intonation, sentence stress and rhythm ga e'tibor bering. Bu yerda intonatsiya, gaplarga tashinadigan urg'ular hamda ohang juda ham muhim sanaladi. Individual sounds. The spelling of a word can sometimes confuse this. For example, euphemism. Word stress. Stressing the wrong syllable in a word is a frequent error. For instance, it should be mistake, democracy. Word stress can be confusing when it changes with different parts of a word family. For instance, photograph, photography, photographic. Sentence stress. For instance, the way that some words in a sentence are emphasized or slightly louder. For example, if I were you, I'd go by bus. 
intonation, the pitch of your voice changing as you talk. Monotone intonation is typical of someone who has memorized long responses. This may result in lower test scores. Chunking. Talking in a rhythm which delivers chunks of words with short silences in between. Good public speakers often use this skill. To improve your pronunciation, we recommend these steps. The first step is to find out how English intonation, sentence stress, and rhythm differ from your native language. Ensure you understand the effect of sentence stress and intonation on meaning. Then practice using these in different ways. Uzoq vaqt mobaynida to'xtab qolmasligingiz, ya'ni o'z so'zlashingizni bir maromda olib borishingiz uchun Albatta, so'zlay oladigan fikrlaringizni mantiqan xayolingizda tashkillashtirib oling. So, today's our new theme is Internet is a global mass media. Bizning yangi mavzumiz internet ommaviy axborot vositalari sifatida degan mavzuni o'rganamiz. Demak, bu yerda e'tibor beramiz. Why internet it is very important in our today's life? Why we use by the internet? Why it's a very global net or in the future, today's and the past form of history of the internet. We are going to learn these topics turn by turn. For my dear friends, we are going to learn about the topics turn by turn. For my dear friends, we are going to learn about the topics turn by turn. For my dear friends, we are going to learn about Internet is a mass media. The internet was inverted in 1991 and it was called the World Wide Web by Tim Berners-Lee and was connected by telephone cable. In the internet we can communicate with each other, download the music, watch videos, play games and search some useful and search informations. The most popular mail terrorists are, as we know, as emailer, or Gmail, or Rambler, Yandex, and etc. The internet was associated with the virtual world with global villages in internet cafes. When programmers want to control the net, they start to use the road signs and world for that. Then the information became so large that it became the ocean user a surfer. Now the internet is a living organism with viruses, eatable memory and handshakes. Please answer these questions. When was the internet invented? Who invented it? What was the first name for the internet? What social medias do you know? Which of them do you like and use? What mail servers are the most popular nowadays? What can we do in the internet? What internet road words do you know? What was the first association with the internet? What internet word is connected with ocean? Can you name? Okay, excellent. And um, our today's lesson is over, but before the conclusion, I have some tasks to you. Our two theme it's very important. One of them grammatical, one of them practical. İkide yunalış bu üçe kendi online dersimiz otamız, o derslerinin biri grammatika mavzuga oid va yana biri amali mavzularga oid bo'ladi. So, dear students, next lesson we are going to discuss about the preposition of time, place and degree. Biz keyingi darsda predloglarni o'rganamiz. Vaqt predloglarini, o'rin-joy predloglarini hamda shuningdek daraja miqdor predloglarini grammatika mavzumizda o'rganib boramiz. So, our practical theme will be this environmental pollution atrof muhit iflaslanishi please search some of the interesting 
and useful topics, famous and wordless by the internet according to our theme. So, next our online lesson will be together send me your ideas by the Telegram, by Cloudnet, by this Facebook, it doesn't matter. See you next lesson. Goodbye.